we are now joined by the Libertarian candidate for U.S. Senate uh, here in Arkansas. Kenneth Cates joins us so, with the Libertarian Party. Yeah, thanks now, for Kenneth, having me, Ms. Lee. Thanks so much for joining us here on 4029 News on the Record. Let's go straight to the issues. Let's, Let's do talk it. first um, abortion. Who should be in charge of abortion issues? And when it comes to Arkansas, we have one of the strictest abortion, anti-abortion laws in the books. So should the federal government at least have some exceptions to the rule? Uh, no, I'm absolutely pro-life, Miss Lee. Um, I believe life starts at conception um, and it's our, the government's duty to protect it. Okay, yes. right. and what about Title IX, the issue of Title IX? Uh, the big debate is who should be in girl sports, who should be in boy sports? Uh, I believe boys should play boy sports and girls should play girls. Um, there is different biology there. Okay, identify as or uh, born uh, birth? Uh, birth, yes. Okay. All right. Um, so when it comes to marijuana, uh, that's a big topic here in Arkansas right now to legalize recreational marijuana. We already have some medical uh, marijuana laws here. Uh, who should be in charge of marijuana use? Should it be the federal government and uh, why? Uh, no, it should not. It should be the individual's um, choice whether they want to use or not. Yes. So the federal government should not have any say? N no, not anything. the federal government or the state. Okay, so when it comes to Arkansas, you do support legalizing recreational yes, I marijuana. Yes, Okay, all right. Um, as a libertarian, what are some of your thoughts on what is happening with inflation? Um, it is definitely a federal issue right now, so how do we cure it? How, how, what got us here? Uh, spending, out of control spending, yes. Um, the more the government spends, uh, the more the taxpayer has to pay for it. The money, it's not free, it doesn't uh, just come from nowhere. Mm -hmm. um, as, as the government spends more money, um, you know, the taxpayer has to pay for it. Uh, right now, every man, woman, and child in America mm -hmm. owes almost $100,000 in taxes. Um, you know, obviously we have to pay for that. Mm -hmm. um, businesses have to pay for that. Um, so they increase the prices of goods and services. The value of the dollar goes down, um, you know, which is inflation, right? Mm -hmm. um, also, um, they have to lay off workers, um, so people lose jobs. Um, and a, a lot of the money is um, it's corrupt, unnecessary, um, and doesn't benefit the American people at all. So where uh, are some of the uh, things that are unnecessary? What are some of the programs that you think we can cut? What are some of the, uh, the programs and agencies that you would tackle first if elected to U.S. Senate? Great question, thank you. Um, one big one um, is, you know, the VA spent $24 million on solar, solar panels that were never used. Okay, and I know it's kind of looking in the past and, you know, um, but if we can't learn from the past, how can we fix the future? During the war in Afghanistan, um, the U.S. government admits that of the $2.3 tr trillion that was spent, 69 billion of that was fraud, waste and abuse. Okay, 69 billion. Um, there was a building bu built in Afghanistan um, that cost around $34 million. It wasn't used for one day. Um, the Marine Corps general in command at that area at the time um, stated he did not want it, he did not ask for it, and he told them he would not use it. And again, I, I know that's looking backwards, mm -hmm. uh, but like I said, we can't, we can't fix the future if we don't learn from the past. Well, what about the situation, talking about foreign policy, that we're, uh, Ukraine and Russia are in right now? What is our position, United States? Should we be more involved? Should we keep sending aid? What is our position? That very, that great question, and probably the most important question we should be asking mm -hmm. right now. Um, not just as the country, but the world. Um, we're on a, you know, and I hate to paint a, you know, dim picture, bleak picture, but it's the reality. We have pushed Putin into a corner um, to using nuclear weapons, uh, whether they're tactical nukes in the region. Um, we don't want to start World War III, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, we don't want him to use them. We don't want to start World War III. Mm -hmm. We don't want, you know, that'll ultimately lead to the destruction of the world. And again, I don't want to paint a bleak mm -hmm. picture, but it's the reality and we have to face it. And that comes from U.S. intervention, okay? Um, I don't justify what Putin has done at all, okay? I think it's terrible. Um, I pray for peace in, that, in Ukraine and that region. Uh, but to say the U.S. Um, has not provoked him is not the whole, because mm. uh, the Biden administration, they use unprovoked. And that's not the whole story, okay? Um, you know, Sun Tzu, the art of war, we need to understand our enemy, okay? And, I'm not saying he's necessarily the enemy, but we need to know the situation. When the Soviet Union, or excuse me, when Ukraine left the Soviet Union in 1991, um, ever since then, mm -hmm. 
we've been expanding NATO toward Ukraine, mm -hmm. okay, a big complaint of Putin. Um, in 2014, and George Bush put in, George W. Bush put in dual use rocket launchers that are nuclear capable um, in Poland, another complaint of Putin's, right? Um, and then in 2014, Obama, uh, with the help of George Soros, over, uh, led a coup to overthrow the pro-Russian government in Ukraine, okay? Um, another complaint of Putin. Um, so to say it's unprovoked, you know, um, is not the whole story. Again, I don't agree with everything he, he, you know, he's doing or done, and I don't take sides with him. Uh, but we need to understand the whole um, story. Uh, we're now in a proxy war um, with Russia you know, through Ukraine. And we have been, um, you know, basically since they left uh, the Soviet Union. All right, one more issue. Let's uh, talk about student loan debt forgiveness program. Your thoughts on that? Um, since I'm ag against most federal spending, mm -hmm. I'm against that. Um, you know, that's, um, you know, personal accountability and responsibility. Um, you know, if you take a loan out or, or you know, or a debt, you need to pay it back. Um, yeah. All right, and so in 15 seconds or less, uh, why should voters vote for you? Well, um, so libertarians, you know, we want to help you keep your money. You know, like we talked about the government spending, um, we're for individual rights, um, you know, constitutional rights, uh, personal accountability, responsibility, um, limited government intervention, um, and it, you know, and the establishment right and left that answers to both um, to big donors and passes legislation that benefits them. We want to end that, and uh, we want to be a voice for the American people. All right, Kenneth Gates, uh, the Libertarian Party candidate for U.S.'s Senate in Arkansas. Thanks so much for joining us Thank today on 402090s yeah. on the record. We'll be back.